I got a joke for you. Let's hear it. How much did Santa Claus's sleigh cost him? How much? Nothing. It was on the house. LOL, Colin. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> OMG, everybody. It's been a really long time. WB. Now, IIRC, we were talking about EVs. Wait, 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 wait a second. What, what's up with all these acronyms? Wait, 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 what's going on here? WIM. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you mean OMG. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> well, you see, while I was looking at all of these vehicles, I found that everybody used an acronym for everything. That's so true. I thought maybe they don't know what they are. And maybe I don't even know what they are. Yeah, come to think of it, I don't think I know where all of them are either. Just maybe a few of them. Shall we check some of them out? Perfect. Let's go. All right. Hey, hey, I'm Colin. And I'm Chris. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Amped Up, Up Sibs. First up, let's talk about all of the different types of electric vehicles. So, Colin, why don't you start us off? Well, the first one, of course, as everybody should know, is EV, which stands for electric vehicle. Next one would be HEV, which is hybrid electric vehicle. Thirdly is PHEV, which is plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. Then, of course, you've got ICE, which is internal combustion engine, as your average everyday car we have now. There is also EREV, which is the extended range electric vehicle. Next would be MHEV, which is the mild hybrid electric vehicles. Now that might be confusing, a mild hybrid. So that's an ICE, so an internal combustion engine that's supported by a small electric motor, kind of like the Honda CRZ. Exactly. Yeah. The next one on the list is a ZEV, which is zero emissions vehicle. Pretty self-explanatory. Yep. Uh, the last is C, sorry, FCEV, fuel cell electric vehicle. So by fuel cell, they mean hydrogen fuel. Yeah. So they're using a hydrogen fuel cell to charge and power the vehicle. Like the Toyota, new Toyota hydrogen uh, oh, yeah. fuel cell one. It, uh, that's how it, how it works. Sounds good. Next, we're going to talk about some terminology about the battery. So first off, the smallest unit in a battery is called the cell. Then a group of cells is called the module. A group of modules is called a pack. And there you get the battery pack. And usually they're a lithium ion high energy density. Uh, there's been some interesting developments in solid state batteries, which is a solid electrolyte between the anode and cathode but we won't see that for a little while, I'm sure. Now some more acronyms. You've got the BMS, the Battery Management System. You've got the BHS, the Battery Heating System. You've got the OBC, the Onboard Charger. And you've got the EVSC, which is the Electric, electric Vehicle Supply Equipment, which is things that are needed to make the car plug in and and make the, those systems usable, charge it. Next, we got the VCU, which is the vehicle control unit. So it the is the processing center processing of the center, yep. whole system. After that is the EPCU, which is electric power control unit. It holds the inverter, low voltage, which is your, your like your 12 volt battery, mm -hmm. your VCU, all in a single unit. Next is what we call the REX. It's RE with a small X. It's a range extender. What it is, is uh, a electric vehicle with a gas engine or ice engine would as that, that be, runs as the generator. Would that be a mild hybrid electric vehicle then? Uh, no, not quite. Because the mild hybrid is where the gas engine actually drives the vehicle. Right. This one, the gas engine acts as a generator for the electric. Instead. Okay. And uh, take, for example, the Chevy Volt. It runs on electric, but it has a gas generator to give it the power, the power to the battery to get you the extra mileage. Interesting. Yeah. Next, we have the frunk, <laughs> which is, of course, the front trunk, because as is, there's no engine in there. And what you, else are you going to call it? You, yeah, you got space <laughs> in the front. Uh, after that would be the regenerative braking, 
which converts your braking power to, elect to electric for the battery. It actually partially or slightly charges the battery back up. We have AER, which is all electric range. Mm -hmm. Last but not least would be also the CD, which is a little confusing. It uh, stands for drag coefficient. It is your wind resistance and basically that would be it. Yeah, tire resistance, all of the friction based things that affect an electric car. Yep. So I think that's it for uh, now. Uh, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And thanks for watching. Amped Up Sibs. Sibs.